Have you ever wondered how data is actually saved to your storage device? Let's take a USB stick for example. Other than its connector, it has two main components, a memory and a controller. This video will look specifically at the architecture of the memory and how data is stored, so let's dive in. As you can see, there's a lot going on, so let's take a step back. The memory on your USB stick is a packaged die. Dies consist of planes, planes hold blocks, and blocks comprise of pages. This is the logical hierarchy. Now I'm messing around with the logical and physical representation here, but to make it easier to understand, pages comprise of a string of NAND flash cells. These cells are either physically charged or not, leaving them with a logical bit value of either a 0 or a 1. The page is the minimum selectable area to be programmed. This means that even though each cell of the flash memory can hold a 0 or a 1, data can only be written to an entire page of cells. However, you can't erase a page, only an entire block, like so. This means that if the data on individual pages are marked as obsolete, holes of invalid data are generated in the blocks. When the NAND flash does not provide any more free blocks to store data, garbage collection is required. This function copies all the data which is still valid into a new block and erases the entire block. When garbage collection is completed, all holes are removed on the drive, freeing up additional space. I hope this video taught you something new. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe.